how to get a better look at the ancient world without damaging the modern one. Chris Livesay shows us a technological advancement that is giving researchers new abilities to see into the past. So how many centuries back in time are we going? We're going more or less. It's an underground maze, zigzagging back roughly 2,300 years. Before the hustle and bustle of modern Naples, even before the Romans got here, when this place was colonized by the Greeks. Watch your head. Leaving behind traces of life and death inside these ancient burial chambers. Oh, wow. Well, oh, you can see the feet. Yes, there are two people, a male and a woman. How many people were buried here? Normally eight or something more, but... Archaeologist Rafaela Boso. So we're inside the tomb now. Yes. Discovered in 1981 the old-fashioned way by digging. Now they've traded their pickaxes for this. All right, so what is this doing here? Well, this is our detector. A detector of subatomic particles known as muons. Thanks to breakthrough technology, physicists like Valery Tyokov can use them like an X-ray machine to see through hundreds of feet of rock. No small feat when you consider this archaeological site is located 60 feet directly below an apartment building in one of the most chaotic cities in the world. You can still see the frescoes inside of this burial chamber. Now, just on the other side of this wall, archaeologists long suspected there was another burial chamber, but this wall is more than three feet thick. They would have had to knock it down just to peek inside. But now, thanks to this new technology, we know for sure that it's there, and they didn't even have to bring a shovel. We head to his laboratory at the University of Naples, where researchers scour the images from that detector. Position. In the span of 28 uh, days, it captured about 10 million down. muons like yeah. this one. And uh, this is a muon. After months of painstaking analysis, they're able to put together a model of that hidden burial chamber, closed to human eyes for centuries, and now open thanks to particle physics. What seems like science fiction is also being used to look inside the pyramids in Egypt, chambers beneath volcanoes, and even treat cancer, says Professor Giovanni De Lelis. Especially cancers which are deep inside the body, and, and these technologies is being used to uh, measure uh, possible damage to the healthy tissues surrounding the, the cancer. So this is only the beginning. Yeah, yes, exactly. I mean, we have, we have essentially a new uh, era now starting with this new technology. For CBS Saturday Morning, Chris Livesay, Naples, Italy. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> Isn't it? And I never, I never knew what muons were. Muons, I know. <laughs> muons are classified You didn't as, know it was a word. Forget you didn't yes, know what they were. Yeah, right. Muon, we didn't know it was a word. Muons are classified as leptons. And do we know what a lepton is? They have an electric charge. You're getting too complicated. Yeah. <laughs> they have an electric charge of minus one and a spin rate of half. Yeah, you just had to look yeah. that up. Yeah, I yeah. did. Yeah. We, need, we need a physics professor. I know. I just was looking going, it's just that area. Okay, yeah. I don't know what does it, but that, that yeah, helps. My really interesting. professor, Mr. Layton, would explain it perfectly.